Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode here on The Corporation. Today, we are starting off with something big. We are going to quell the frenzy of Lilligan. And don't worry, I know in the last episode I was right down here on the river trying to jump up. I didn't stay there for hours. I did decide to go the actual route and come up. Uh, and yes, there is a massive outbreak going on, but we have bigger things to worry about. So if you do find yourself enjoying today's video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with everything new with Legends Arceus in this playthrough, um, as I will be going all the way to the end and covering some other little tidbits. But for today, we are up here in Bravo or Brava, not Bravo, Brava Arena with Adaman. Um, and, uh, Kalba, not Kalbasa, not the sausage, Kalaba and Azura, A Arizu, man, I I'll remember these names one day, but basically we're watching the Diamond and Pearl clans coming together and we are going to help Lilligant quell her frenzy. Uh, specifically, basically, uh, what I just got from that is that she is a dancer and we need to move out of the way of all of her things. So, yeah, but for all of you that haven't seen Lilligan's new form, get prepped. All right, I'll show up now. And just like that, she uses defog. It's such a better, hmm, kind of Tinkerbell-esque. Look at her getting it. And everything just turned evil. I don't know, there's just an evil look in her eyes. Lady of the Ridge, Lilligant. So Lilligant's what, now gonna jump down here? Uh, and I have to throw bombs at her. Now, dodging Pokemon. When you press the Y button to dodge, you become invulnerable to Pokemon attacks for a brief moment. Dodge with just the right timing to pass through incoming attacks without taking damage. So I don't even have to, like, move out of the way. I can dodge into it. Oh, I, I did hit dodge. Okay. I see where this can become a little useful. It's starting to make sense now. Ah, uh, so it's for AoE attacks because you're off the ground. Okay. Okay. Man, this is really Breath of the Wild reskinned, man. <laughs> like, in a good way. In a good way. I'm not saying that to, you know, dunk on uh, Legends Arceus. This top three Pokemon games might eventually, depending on how the playthrough and how my personal playthrough goes, uh, be... I don't think it'll ever be number one just because of sentimental value. Um, but other than sentimental value, this very well could be my favorite gameplay wise my favorite pokemon game and i thought i'd say that about sword and shield ah, sword and shield had a an okay storyline the dlcs were cool i know everyone kind of gave pokemon company crap for having dlcs in a pokemon game which i mean granted they probably have enough money they could have just released it all the way uh but it was cool it was cool it added more content that would not have been in just a post game um, and I think it allowed them to try some things that maybe we wouldn't have otherwise gotten. I'm also about to die. Okay. Like, I am... Oh. I did that without fighting once. Huh. Did we fight Cleaver? I think we did fight Cleaver once. I think I did do a Pokemon battle. I really just did that without, I, I did that A without even really thinking and just talking to you all, but B, bro, it looks so much better. That looks like something Pet Lil would actually evolve from. Hey, Weasel can evolve. What about, doesn't matter. It left. I wonder if Badoo can evolve yet. That'd be awesome. And then we just need to get the evolution stone. Hey, we got the meadow plate. Stone tablet imbued with the essence of plants. That when used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of grass type. Hmm. I'm so excited, dude. Hey, thank you. You saved all of us, Lilligan and Arezu. God, it's just such a cool looking Pokemon. Like, if you don't play Pokemon and you don't 
no Lilligant. Lilligant. Uh, hey, she's quoting the thing from Slacy on Ruins. All lives touch, other lives create something anew and alive. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Uh, we owe you one. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arezu. You're a warden of all people. We should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand by side by side with Pokemon. Stand by side. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm sorry. This is stand by. This is fast paths. Uh, well, I can hardly stop yelling at you now after Kalaba wrapped up that all up so nicely. So basically, you just got out of me reaming you for what you did and not talking. Uh, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Interesting. Um, Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team helped save Ursa Luna. Yes, yes, we did all band together. You did well, Todd. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I'd be on my way. Yeah, go to sleep. You're 99. You need to calm down. Uh, live in... <laughs> yes, words. Um, all right, this is a bunch of stories. She's probably... What happened a little again? How to kind-hearted person... Or person, Pokemon like you... Uh, yeah, it got struck by Sinnoh or whoever's be behind the time distortion. I don't know. I don't know the storyline of this game. I don't know, man. I'm excited to learn it, though. Report to Commander Kamado. Okay, so before we do that, there's a few things I need that needs to be done. Number one, I need to take you all to something that I didn't know existed, but is the best thing about this game so far and i say that wholeheartedly with no malintentions um all right i'm on the right path and it is right here it is our little diamond settlement uh this is actually i walked past these let's play past the time that's just sitting around and waiting for time to pass like such a stupid little piece of writing but this is a diamond settlement. All of them are dressed up basically like Dialga, in case you haven't played Diamond and Pearl. Um, but there's some side ducks here, and there's a quest. Now, if this just so happens, yes! <laughs> Medicine that yes! <laughs> clears up headaches. So we are indeed getting medicine to help these Psyducks clear their headaches. That is awesome. But before we do return home, I've got 334 Pokeballs burning a hole in my pocket. I didn't know Cricketune. I didn't know we perfected that in this playthrough already. Dang, okay. Um, or Cricketot, not Cricketune. Cricketune is over here and probably not. Oh, it's got 10. Wow. Jeez. Okay. Um, interesting. Oh, Burmy, that's right. Um, but yeah, so I, I do want to get some dex entries taken care of um, and catch some Pokemon. I just, I'm still, I'm thinking about who I want on my team. Oh, I need to evolve. Oh, Badu and Weasel can evolve. So Quilava is definitely staying. Like, oh, time out, flag on the play. I don't have a napkin or something. So many things are going on in my head. Quilava staying on the team. So let's let's talk team for a second. Quilava staying on the team because it has a new Hisuian form. Jeez. And it's pretty sick. Um, Badu is staying on the team. It's shiny and it's grass. I feel like I got to keep Weasel because I didn't do Oshawa. At least I got to keep Weasel until I get a new water type. Um, if there is. Well, I think there's one. There's one water type that I can think of that I would consider new, so to say. Um, so Quilava... Water, Badu. I could turn that Eevee into an Alpha Umbreon, which would be sick. And that's four, so I'm still I've still got some room to play with. But for the time being, uh, while I've got you and I have your attention captivated, since these are two that we're more than likely going to be keeping on the team, anyways, um, <clears throat> I am going to quickly evolve up, yeah, and get ourselves a Floatzel. And if you don't know that I love otters in real life. I don't even know who you are. Uh, they're just so cool, dude. Otters are one of my favorite animals in the world. And then our shiny Badoo going up all big and strong. Getting all... I just... Uh, I was so tired when it happened. I definitely underplayed that shiny reaction. But it's a 
full odds. I it was the first Badoo I'd ever caught in the first time going to Crimson um Myerlands. So not only was it the first ever Badoo, but it was also a one in four thousand and ninety-six chance. Four thousand and ninety-six. Just let that sink in. It's insane. Such a good encounter, man. But we will hopefully be getting more um shinies throughout this playthrough but i've talked long enough we did the whole lilligan thing we're now doing this uh i'm going to catch up some mons and then we'll go back to town i'm also going to farm up some resources because sky tumble stone oh my gosh are so easy to catch here uh or get here and speaking of farming up stuff i didn't want to get the toga kiss but i guess i'll get the togetic if you don't know if you see a pokemon like this flying you definitely need feather balls and to not whiff like that that was embarrassing but i'll catch up this togetic togetic whatever you want to call it and uh yeah i mean hopefully something cool happens and i bring you guys back got it oh snap that was the first time catch okay sweet and we're back in the village going to apparently the wallflower to talk to benny Founder by the center of my mochi, did you? Of course you did. When you have my skill, a level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile. Uh, remember to be grateful for getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come to dinner later. But first, don't you owe Commodo a report? The meal can wait. Yes, I do need to go talk to Professor Commodo, but also it's evening time. So I do want to go talk to uh, the kid outside. Why do I feel like you have something? um hmm weird i don't know she just seemed like she would have something and then this one also i need to be talking oh okay she's just talking about the drift limb. hey there's that weasel that i gave that guy that's a big old weasel man he is a big old chonker that's the first one that i caught and i, I noticed that some people were apparently having issues with the weasel quest line but in this playthrough and my personal playthrough the first weasel i caught that also was hey this is a heavy weasel um it was fine but i don't know but it is evening time hopefully and it is we do get the cutscene. survey core guy over here this a poor little kid man drifloom won't let him go can do get the heck out of here drifloom you're not stealing this kid not on my watch and it just flies away if you don't know drifloom's dex entry this is probably why it has that dex entry go check it out it literally wants to take children and fly off with them because it imitates as a balloon it's it's no bueno uh report back to miki with your findings i wish that we could fast travel or not fast travel because we can't fast travel i wish that we could um hop on weird ear man like i get it you're in the village pokemon's probably not going to come to the village but like i don't know man just something because this village is so big Oh uh, man, how cool would that weasel be if it was an alpha shiny though? Next to that little one. Twid be dope. Alright. Hey Miki. What's up, girl? Hey, I got that drift loom for you. Give me the reward, punk. Taki was trying to keep the drift loom from getting in trouble. Uh he was definitely in considerable danger. He was about to fly off with him. I'll urge Captain Zisu to put extra security guards on the prelude beach. Awesome. Playing with Drifloon, and I got Stardust for that. Um, I don't know if we can use Stardust for anything crazy in the game yet. I don't think so. I would imagine not, just from old games. But I've been kind of hoarding everything just on an in-case kind of basis. Uh, but let's go ahead. Let's jump in here. Enter, and let's talk to... What's his name? And, uh... Oh, wow, there's a lot of requests. All right, let's talk to this guy. Who is this guy? Zeke. You there, you're the one, right? The one that we all been talking about, Crimson Myerlands. Wanda is in the security corps, you see, and went to the Myerlands, but she never made it back. You managed to track down Arezu. <sighs> Do you have a piece of clothing? You plan on using a Pokemon to find her? Hmm. Would her favorite kerchief, like handkerchief, but kerchief, uh, gone straight in the Myerlands. I can't believe this idiot is lost in there what a massive mushroom oh it's parasect's back okay I, I immediately thought to parasect or um paris um and i was right 
Look at me being a knowledgeable trainer. There's a downstairs? There's a downstairs? What? What is downstairs? Bro, this is this is mind blowing. Um What? It's blush click what? Blue vines hanging off it. Oh, it's uh Tangla. Did you find the Pokemon? Yeah, 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 it's Tangla. Um, um I went the totally wrong way. Yeah. Tangla, right here. Select. So you actually have to figure out that's a that it's a Tangla. Look at it, it's all a lump of vines and this aroma is sweet scent. I remember, yes, these are the herbs from my home. Covering herbs, I mean vines, the vines are moving. It's part of Tangela, dude. Anyway, thank you for finding it. Wait a second. Smoke bombs! Okay. Um. Do we get the Tangela back? No. I, we might have just given... I don't know, man. Who is this guy? What is this? Oh, he's in the survey car for Quadalar of the Woods. Chose Aaron Boy? What? I had to get Hardy Grains. Sheesh. Do we not have... We have Hardy Grains in the... We have Hardy Grains in the, the box. So I can just grab that. But let's go talk to... Uh, Kamato, Commander Kamato, uh, first, and then I can do all that stupid side quest stuff and do some other nonsense. I'm so close to getting the next star also. Oh my gosh, it's the next level up. There's too many levels in this place. Is there another level? Oh no, this is also the only place you can go upstairs. I haven't really checked out his office. I need to check out his office, um, the part that I can't see. You successfully calmed the Lilligant. Yes, I did. Excellent. There may be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. Follow strength to our world for a rift in space time, and frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from the very same rift. We have no connection to that lightning, do you? Uh, we may have to investigate the rift itself. I don't like where this is going. But do I get a new area? That's that's what I want to know. Hopefully I get a new area. Was that the whole conversation? He was just like, ambiguous, let's look at the rift. Are you kidding me right now? There you go, piping hot potato mochi, fresh from the stove. Darn right, fool. Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mo mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't agree, or I don't disagree. <laughs> I don't agree, I just expect her to be rude. I don't agree. Yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere with our research or carving out a life here? Yeah, it is. You schmuck. Oh, uh, well, here's a flashy new recipe for you to try, Todd. Scatterbait. This one pop pod? This game literally has smoke grenades and flashbangs. Like, might as well just give me a gun. Might as well just make this a MMORPG where I can go around and fight other people and battle their Pokemon to the death the next day. Okay, wow, we're just getting right into it. Jeez. Ugh, I gotta stretch my arms too, man. Is that it? Morning, sleepyhead! Don't you dare talk to me, fool. I know what you're up to. You'll never guess what. I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser shop. Now you better try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still going to be Lilligan's Warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. You know what that means? That means there's new hairstyles. And I need to get that woman Hippopotas. So that way, um, with the Hippopotas, I can get more clothes, probably. Because whenever you do a quest for the people, you get more stuff from them. So we'll see. But that's kind of cool that Arezu is at the hairstylist, especially with her wonky fro. Will you come with me to Prelude Beach? Please tell me it's going to fast travel me there. What's that sound? Hey, it's a Ginkgo Guild guy. And a boat. Are we leaving? What's happening here? Bro, he's got socks and sandals. These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. 
when we of the galaxy team first arrived in this land we came ashore on prelude beach it is where everything began this is where a new life for you all will begin as well we've heard that the hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening pokemon but we also heard the great galaxy team knows a great deal about pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help you life village grow indeed you're both correct largely thanks to todd and the survey core you darn right man hey give me that nod bro why are your legs so far apart like look forward to doing our part commander like he's just standing like ready to go like he's gonna punch me out or something man that's a rickety bridge our bridge doc the advancement of our understanding of pokemon thanks to survey corps but expand the areas where we can operate safely this allows us to welcome newcomers todd you truly do love pokemon don't you <laughs> not really i if i was being a jerkwad oh man i've done grave injury to many of our fellows in the galaxy and yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart i suppose this is a necessary quality for one in the survey core remember this though pokemon are terrifying creatures all we can about that we wish to live song them or not and be warned as leader of the galaxy team i'm prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect you life's village something's not right i don't know what it is but something's not right like I don't know something something doesn't feel right like i don't know what it is but something doesn't feel right uh let's get some let's get some stuff and let's get to a clear stopping point and actually i can just do that stuff off camera i'm not gonna make you guys wait another quick weird cut uh to do it but i am gonna leave i'm gonna leave this episode with a banger so if you didn't stay till now, you're going to miss out on this. But while we were out in the field, and you may notice it from bottom right corner of my screen, the Quilava is ready to evolve. I'll evolve with Star Avia off camera. If you haven't seen Star Raptor yet, you'll see it next episode. I'm not going to make you guys watch that evolution. But Quilava is ready to evolve into the brand new Hisuian Typhlosion. This is my first time seeing it in person as well. I've seen little bits and pieces here. That is gorgeous. It's so derpy looking, man. It's so derpy looking, but in such a good way. Yes. Now, can we speak? Will it do its fire? What? It's not going to do its fire? Come on. Do its fire. Come on. Do its fire. Come on. Ah, It's not going to do its fire. You guys got to wait because its fire looks pretty sick. But oh, this guy is actually my height. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did find yourself enjoying today's video, a like is greatly appreciated. See, Typhlosion even knows it. Uh, but if you did enjoy, please feel free to like. Otherwise, I will see you in the next episode.